All right, what's up guys? Back for another quick video. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask about my gear bag, what I carry to tournaments, uh, events that I'm gonna film, uh, and even just for regular beer league play. So I've got the Pacific Rink Bag. I'll give you a little bit more info on the bag uh, after we get all the stuff out of it so you can actually see the dividers, things like that in it. Um, no particular order to this, so I'll just start going through it. First thing up, uh, True XC9 pants. These are extremely comfortable. Um, provide really good protection and they actually come with the pants and the pads separated when you buy them. I uh, really recommend these, they're super comfortable, um, really protective as well. When you look through these, this is how they actually come in the pack. You can see the amount of padding, uh, different stuff that they have with them. Uh, so if you're looking for a new pair of pants, definitely check out the, uh, the True XC9 pants. Um, next up, let's go straight to elbow pads. Um, same thing here, True XC9s. Uh, these are pretty comfortable. Uh, I haven't got these really broken in yet, so I don't want to give like a full review on them, but they're working really well for me so far. Um, next, let's go shin pads. Um, same thing here, True XC9 shin pads. Again, these are still pretty new. So I haven't completely got them broken in yet. They're a little bit bigger than I would normally like. Um, I do have trouble getting these under uh, like sweatpants or coaching pants, things like that. Like if I'm just going out to film or playing pond hockey, things like that. So keep that in mind. Um, these are the 16 inch ones. Um, if I had to order them again, I'd probably go a size maybe two smaller. So if you're looking for new shin pads, keep that in mind. If you're looking at the true set, they do run just a little bit big in my opinion, um, but they're still really great as far as protection goes. I don't mind them when I have, uh, you know, full hockey gear on, just when I have, you know, pond hockey gear on or if I'm going out like coaching, filming, things like that, um, they're a little bit too big for that. Um, next, let's go straight to the chest protector. Um, this has been just an area of pain for me lately. Um, previously, I had, you know, the CCM jet speed line, I think. Um, wasn't happy with them. They were just super bulky on me. Um, True came out with their XC9 series, and you can actually detach literally everything on them. So if you notice, these don't have the shoulder caps on them. I pulled those off um, when I'm, you know, just in normal beer league play because I don't, I mean, they're just too bulky for me. This is fantastic for what I do. Um, can still, you know, take a shot um, and have plenty of protection, but um, they're not, not too bulky for what I do. Um, up next, we'll go gloves. Again, True XC9s, these are fantastic gloves. The palms on them, these are a little bit worn down. I've had them for a season and a half or so. Um, but the palms on these, you can actually pull out and replace. Um, the palms are pretty cheap too. So if you run through gloves a lot, um, you may look at getting a set that has the replaceable palms on them. Um, super nice. I think I've got two sets of these. Um, so they're best gloves out there in my opinion. Um, what's next? Uh, we'll go to the helmet. Um, so we've got the new True Dynamic Pro helmet, um, just standard visor on it as well. Uh, helmet is super comfortable. Again, the sizing, in my opinion, is just a little bit off on these. Normally, I would wear like a large and a Bauer CCM helmet, um, but the medium in these fits me perfect. Um, also, this is probably the lightest helmet that I've ever had on. Super comfortable, um, doesn't slide around on me, and I don't think I have them in. Yeah, these actually come with replaceable pads on the inside. So like, let's say you're between a medium and a large, you put the replaceable pads in and they literally just pop right out and in so that you can put uh, whatever size is most comfortable for you on it. Um, up next, go, there's a bunch of random stuff in here as well. Um, my true track suit, uh, wear this when I'm on the ice, just messing around with my kid or if I'm out filming, um, this is nice to have and the bottoms for the track suit. Um, beer league Jersey rebirth. If you guys are looking for jerseys, definitely check them out. Um, they're the best in the business at it. 
water bottle, speaker for the locker room. Always got to have good music on. Uh, let's go right into the skates. Um, depending on what I'm doing, I'll have any pair of three skates in my bag. Um, the ones that I wear uh, most often are the, uh, the true skates. These are super comfortable, especially uh, if you go take the time and go get scanned and actually have them made to your foot. Um, I did a, a video at Pure Hockey um, kind of going through the process of how you actually uh, get scanned for this, the waiting time, um, the unboxing, things like that. I'll link that down below, so definitely check it out. Um, the blades on these, um, these are not the stock blades. They're stock holders, stock true holders, but I go with the Blade Tech blades. Um, if you haven't seen them, definitely check them out as well. These are the best blades out there, in my opinion. Um, you can actually get them customized whatever color you want, and if you guys can see it, they can actually put whatever um, andonizing on it that you want as well. Throw those back in. Um, I also keep a second set of blades just in case one were to break or I do a lot of pond hockey filming as well. So skates are super important to me. Um, if I lose an edge and I'm out somewhere where I can't have them sharpened, I'll just pop the blade off and put a new one on. Um, the other skates I have, I've just got these in the mail this past week. Uh, another set of trues, but these actually have the Mars blade holders on them. Um, I've skated in them uh, exactly one time. Um, the day I got them, I went out. Uh, we had a beer league game that night. Um, not super comfortable on them yet, but um, I'll give it a couple weeks and then do an actual video on those as well. Um, and then the last set, like I said, depending on what we're doing, um, another true boot, true frame, revision wheels. Um, yeah, like this is the, the absolute best skate that's out there. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, I'll go start with base layer stuff. Um, just Shock Tech compression pants. Um, these have the uh, the Velcro on them, so your socks will stick right to them. Uh, same thing, compression shirt. Uh, I think that's by True. Yeah, super comfortable. Uh, what are these? A pair of socks. Another pair of socks. Another pair of socks. What else is in here? Oh, wrist guards. Uh, I've never worn these until about maybe a month ago, um, and I never actually knew that they existed. These are literally wrist guards, and they have plastic piece in them. Um, I wear a size 13 glove. I wear smaller gloves. So the area right through here is not protected. Um, I had a beer league game a couple weeks ago where I blocked a shot, it went off my wrist, and then um, it was a pretty bad stinger, you know, maybe missed a shift, not a huge deal. Um, and then literally later in that game, blocked a shot off the bottom of my wrist as well. So that very next day I went out searching, found these, um, wear them all the time now, they're fantastic. Um, these were cheap as well, it's good for, good for peace of mind as well. Howie's bag um, just keeps my stuff organized. What we have in here a couple rolls of white, uh, lighter. Um, this is good if you do. I do a lot of GoPro videos, so you know you melt the top of the the 3M plastic sticks right to the helmet, even if it's super cold. Um, black clear tape, scissors. A little bit of wax, Sharpie, and um, some of the grip tape that I use. Just started using this on my stick. I'm not sure if I'm super fan of it yet or not, but we'll find out. That's everything for the Howie's bag. Um, oh, player of the game award. This goes out to best guy on our beer league team if we win the game. Um, guys usually love that. Extra pair of laces, pin, and that's it for the hockey bag. Um, sticks that I use, 
recently picked up the specific rink bag. I travel a lot. Hockey sticks usually come with me, so it's good to keep them protected. Got two of the same sticks in here, just different flexes on them. If I can get them out. Uh, my usual game stick is this one. It's an actually a 55 flex uh, true XC9. Yeah, so my main game stick um, is a true XC9. Uh, it's a 55 flex. I wasn't, I wasn't a huge fan of getting a 55 flex, uh, but when I played a game or two with this, um, I don't think I'll go back to really anything else. Uh, the other one that I keep with me. Same curve, um, same stick, true XC9, but it's the just a 75 flex. Um, so that's pretty much it for my hockey bag. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a couple of these. Um, I'll do what I carry for Pond Pack, and then uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the media stuff that I do. Uh, I'm going to go over my camera stuff and what I take to actually events that I'm going to be filming at, not necessarily playing in, um, but stuff that I take to film. So that's going to take a while because I take a ton of gear with me. Um, so if you guys have any questions, anything you want to see more about, um, let me know down in the comments.